Hello everyone, this is Shrihan Mursi and we have today the critical thinking part 2, an overview about how to use critical thinking in teaching skills. So when we come to critical thinking, of course we have to talk about Bloom's taxonomy. Bloom was a very famous philosopher and educator researcher and he came up with a theory that said, when you are learning a language or learning any new information, we start with lots. A lots here are the lower order thinking skills. Lower here doesn't mean it is less important. Lower here means it is very important. They are the foundation or the basis form which we build our knowledge. For example, remembering is the very first step in the lower order thinking skill. When you first are learning a new language, you have to remember and memorize nouns and verbs and lots of information, and then you have to understand and make sense of what you are remembering. And here we move to the second step, which is understanding. As you learn more and more, you are able to apply your English or knowledge in new ways. As we go up in the chart in complexity, we reach the HOTS. And HOTS here is the higher order thinking skills. You're using English to create new information, to design or build new ideas. You may use language to evaluate, to make judgments, to defend or to negotiate. You may also be involved in analysis, comparing and contrasts. And this is where really critical thinking resides. It's in the huts, it's in the higher order thinking skills. So what is critical thinking? Traditionally, critical thinking was not included in the traditional three R's. And the three R's are reading, writing, and arithmetic. When we go to school, we studied the three R's, and that was considered full education at that time. Today, when we think of education, we think of the terms of the 21st century's four C's, which are communication, collaboration, creativity, and, of course, critical thinking. So... Why is critical thinking important in today's world? Problem solving. Our students need to have excellent problem solving in their jobs, in their work, in their studies, which involve, long, which involve lifelong learning skills. It's not enough also to have education it's not enough to have education in primary or secondary school. We will keep on moving and we will keep on learning to keep place in today's world all through our lives. Our students need to have autonomy or the ability to work independently. And also at the same time, they need to work collaboratively and they need to have the ability to work in teams. So students need to engage in multi perspective thinking, being able to see the world in someone else's eyes and respect different opinions. And this will all scores help our students to get better jobs. So when we prepare our students to have these different points using critical thinking, we will help them to face the world and to face the new challenges that we are having today. So Practical practices of critical thinking in class. How can we apply in class? Let's play a game. Here, can you see these four pictures? They are about what? Excellent. They are about food. The topic here is food, which we find in lots of English uh, curriculum and lots of course books. Okay. The task here is you have to introduce yourself. In three R's, using three R's, we used to introduce your, ourselves in that form. Hello, my name is Tom. I like English. Hello, my name is Sally. I like English too. That was the three R's way. We might get to know the names, but we might not get to know each other at deeper level. 
In this activity, who are you and why? You will see two pairs of food-related words or food-related nouns. A salad and a cho or a chocolate cake, a bowl of soup or a sandwich. You will talk about yourself. Are you a salad or a chocolate cake and why? Are you a bowl of soup or a sandwich and why? And you will expect from your students that they will answer in that form. I'm a because so and so. So, for example, I'm a salad. Someone will, are you, if you, if you ask them, are you a salad or a chocolate cake? They will answer, I'm a salad because I'm healthy. Other will answer, I'm a salad because I'm active and fresh. Others will say, I'm a salad because I have variety of skills and salad has different items. So here the student will reflect on himself and he will see himself in another perspective. Another answer will answer, I'm a chocolate cake because I transmit happiness. Uh, another student will answer, I'm a chocolate cake because I'm sweet. So here you will not be talking about yourself. You will not be talking about purely about introducing yourself. You will, taking, you will be taking it to a higher level with your students. So is this activity have critical thinking? Is this critical thinking? Let's answer the following questions. Does this require critical thinking? Why and why not? Here, introducing ourselves in a non-traditional way. There is no right or wrong answer. You encourage your students to use ordinary words in order to create new relations. You make your students think more creatively. So here is critical thinking purely. How much time needed to do this in class? This activity can be a warm-up, which will take from 15 to 20 minutes. It, and it also depends on the number of students, if you divided them into groups where you can make students do more speaking. So, what are some ways to use this activity in a lesson? Let's think, and I want you to give me your answers. Okay, and now we will move to the second activity, which is role play and verbal activities. Verbal activities and role play maximize the amount of time that students will use English. If I am putting my students in one by one, only one student will get the chance to talk in a time. But if I put them in pairs or groups or teams, yes, it will be noiser, but that's okay because students are here using English. Also be careful that and be sure that you vary the tasks. So if you use a topic of food, for example, you should get different food tasks and activity. Make sure that the students who are not talking are, just, are not just sitting passively. Make sure that they are engaged in active listening. Active listening is the key word. Active listening means that Kate is talking and I'm preparing myself to ask her questions or ask for clarification about things I don't understand. So I'm not just listening. I have a job to do while listening. So let's have a game about using role play, thinking about food. So... You have different situations, four different situations cards, and you divide your class into four different teams. The, ver the first team, team A, is going to have this card. Group A will have a card A, and group B will have a card B, and so on. Card A, it's your job to make breakfast for everyone at school. You can cook your favorites, so your job is prepare a shopping list. Card B, you are a famous swimmer. You will swim in a 20-kilometer race at Manhattan Island next month. You need to gain weight, but stay strong. What four foods you will you eat daily and why? Card C. Your family is very sick. 
one has a cold and one has a broken leg and one has hiccups what will you feed them to help all of them to help them feel better and card d plan for a menu for a wedding dinner for 200 guests but you will have to plan it using only chicken ice cream carrots and bananas so you give the task for your students and they will work everyone will work in with his group with his card and they will think together let's now reflect is this critical thinking yes what are the lots the lower order thinking skills that are necessary to do to do this activity with my students what your students need to know in order to be successful. So before you drop your students into that critical, act critical thinking activity, you have to make sure that they are prepared and they have enough tools with them. So to know the names of different foods, list and memorize, know how to list, know how to memorize and define them. Remembering and understanding are all the lots required in this activity you have to prepare your students to know this information and know this foundation information about food now what are huts are necessary for this activity so moving up sorting comparing evaluating and analyzing evaluating the situation creating solution these are all the high order thinking skills you are going to use with your students so i want you to pause here this video and reflect this with your students this activity and give your feedback in the comment box where you can give me how you applied this activity in class and how was it effective and how did you use critical thinking with the with your students in this activity more resources for role play and verbal activities you will find in these two links in the upper link it's for the primary age and up and in the second link it's for the uh, secondary and adult uh, age so we will move on with our critical thinking activities and practices in class and we come to yes the problem solving and puzzles <clears throat> a problem needs to be solved do your best effort to give different problems to different students to get different outcomes allow open-ended solutions more than one right answer is accepted try to mix it up and making and make it uh, uh, interesting and keep the students engaged when we are allowing to open-ended solutions which can be a little scary for the teachers as our student but our students can surprise us sometimes and be ready for these surprises because their idea of right answer is different than ours and that's okay we have to make our students respect each other's point of view and respect each other's opinions and respect each other's ways of thinking then your students might be like to create their own puzzles and their own problems let's see the activity number three which is lost at sea so you are on a vacation in a big cruise ship like that in titanic and oh your boat sinks so you're now in a small group and every group is on a lifeboat and lost at sea each group has a book of matches and different things that you pulled out of water as the ship sank your job here is first with yourself rank the items in order of importance and then as group you discuss each group will have group you will divide your class into group a and group b group a will have a large bottle of water an axe to cut things a mosquito repellent which pushes the mosquito away maybe it is something we uh, um, 
we we brush our uh, body with maybe we, we it's something we spray in order to push the mosquito away i don't know a map and a compass candy bars and a fishing pole this is group a group b have a travel a freeze dried food a satellite radio which i don't know if it's working or it's not working a shark repellent rope and plastic sheet so you have to first you have to rank these items secretly with yourself as each one each student has to think about it with himself rank it with himself and then they will create sit together discuss as group and create a list for every group to have the importance of the the important things or important items divided in the list and be ready to explain your choices so is this critical thinking what are the lots the lower order thinking skills that i have to prepare with my students yes remembering and applying understand vocabulary and apply it in discussion also understand the situation so your students need to know the foundation vocab about sea theme about lost in the sea about uh, vocabulary uh, that we that they are having to that they are going to use in this uh, activity they will need to be able to apply it either say it or write it or demonstrate it so remembering understanding and applying the different uh, skills and the different vocabulary about this activity is very important for our students next what are the hots the higher level thinking skills that are necessary for this activity analyzing items creating your own decisions evaluating which is important to have very important here is to evaluate the items in every group and also negotiate with your group because first you chose or you ranked the items secretly individually with yourself and the second step you are going to discuss with your group so the negotiation activities the negotiation skills is very important with your group making decision is very important a, a higher level thinking skill the more real it feels to your students the more they will be engaged so here is the link for more resources for more team building games uh, that promote critical thinking and 50 activities for developing critical thinking skills they will give you more ideas so i want you to pause the video and do this activities and more with your students and give me the feedback thank you so much